Hi, in this lecture, I am going to talk to you about the introduction to forward contracts. Now, a forward contract is one where a certain party agrees to buy an underlying asset while the counterparty agrees to sell the underlying asset. Now, the underlying asset can either be a physical asset or a financial asset. Now, when we talk about physical asset, you can think about anything. It goes from golds to commodities oil barrels etc and when it comes to financial assets you can think about stocks bonds etc even the index altogether can be considered as a financial asset next this is done at a specific price known as the forward price or the exercise price on a specific date in the future forwards can be used as a, as a hedge instrument against existing risk exposure now hedging is a method to cover a position that already has been taken by a person for example a person who who holds financial assets may be worried about the fall in price of the financial assets so he would want to cover himself by selling it at uh, a certain price in the future that will be beneficial to him same goes for anybody uh, for for instance an oil trader he would be worried about rising prices in oil and would want to hedge himself by purchasing oil through a forward price where uh, he sets his expectation and he says that i am going to buy it at x price so what happens is as a result is if the price really goes up he ends up saving a lot of cost and then covers himself effectively next is the risk exposure may be relating to the price of the asset being held from rising or falling depending upon the expectation of the party involved so this is similar to what uh, i just spoke about next if expected future price rises while holding the contract the right to buy will have a positive value now forwards do not come with price points attached instead you can say whether it is beneficial to buy a forward or uh, when while holding the contract if you see that the pri the uh, expected future price is going up then the right to buy is going to have a positive value because then you can you know buy at a lower price and the and the right to sell would actually have the equivalent negative value because now you'll have to sell at a low price so that's what this point is all about next the party who agrees to buy the underlying uh, holds a long position while the counterparty holds a short position so a long position is where uh, you expect something to go up whereas in the short position you expect something to go down it's it's typically used for bullish and bearish positions and here we have tied it up to buying and selling forwards Next, forwards can either be deliverable or contracts for differences. What's the difference? Deliverable contracts require actual delivery or actual exchange of physical assets. Whereas in case of a contract for differences, any difference between the forward price and uh, the uh, spot price uh, would be taken into consideration for calculating the total difference amount which would be settled by either the buyer or the seller transferring to the other party depending upon the actual result so set now that's what's discussed here settlement of deliverable forwards occurs with the short position making physical delivery of the underlying asset to the long position because the short is the one who who has uh, decide who has the right to sell the asset that's why he has to now make delivery in case of a deliverable forward other forwards are net settled so these forwards are also known as uh, contracts for differences non deliverable forwards and even cash settled forward contracts okay so here the buyer or seller transfers the difference between the forward price and current price but if you're watching this on youtube do click subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next lecture. Bye for now.